Okay, what's up YouTube? My name is Galen and this is Galen's Gadgets. I want to thank you so much for joining my channel today. And if you have not already, please do not forget to like and subscribe if you want to keep seeing videos on tech just like this one. So today we will actually be going over Samsung DeX. If you don't know what it is, it's basically like a desktop software that generates from your Samsung Galaxy smartphone. As a lot of you know, this is actually my first ever uh, Galaxy device. So I'm really curious to see what kind of productivity that I can get out of it. I saw a really interesting picture from my good friend Delvon Digital over on Twitter about how he uses it. So I'm going to show you guys uh, what I will find useful for myself and show you guys all of the settings, show you guys how to set everything up and all of that. So I'm not going to hold you any longer. Let's hop into this video. I'm about to be on, been on this mission since I first left home, pick up my bags like I'm grown, told myself to show myself to do no wrongs, like I'm about to be on. So first off, we're just going to talk about the setup. You do have multiple options in which you can set up decks. Um, my favorite is probably the hardwire connection right here. As you can see, I have a USB-C dongle and an HDMI cord in here. So the HDMI is supported through both TVs and monitors. Or if your TV or monitor has a wireless connection protocol, then you can set it up with DeX that way. You can also use your laptop or computer as well once you download the Samsung DeX app on your PC. I would suggest using a hardwire connection like this because that is where you will get the least delay or lag. So now I am just going to connect this HDMI to USB cable to my phone. So as you can see right now, I got DEX going through my monitor via an HDMI connection. All right, guys, so another way that I mentioned earlier that you can connect to DEX is directly from your computer. You could do that simply by just downloading the software um, on your Windows computer or on your Mac computer. I'm not sure if it works on Windows 11 yet, but um, I assume that it does. Um, so that makes it like super easy to connect everything. I also got a longer cord with a different hub, so you can see I'm connected right now. And another cool thing about DeX is that you can use your phone freely while you have this desktop screen. So let me show you what the desktop looks like. I'm just going to minimize this window and this is Samsung DeX. All right, so now that everything's set up, we're just going to talk about the design and the layout of DeX mode. So um, as you can see, it looks a lot like a Windows or a Chrome OS desktop. To me, it looks more like Chrome OS, um, especially when you start opening apps. Um, as you can see, like after you open apps, let me just open up a few. Okay, so uh, as soon as you open apps, you see you get these icons at the bottom. Really reminds me a lot of Chrome OS, and I really like that um, over Windows because sometimes Windows can get cluttered at the bottom. Um, Samsung also has all of these icons at the bottom. I'll go over those in a second, but um, yeah, it looks really nice. And uh, one thing I did notice, it looks like Index, whenever you use a browser, it automatically puts it in desktop mode. So um, as you can see, let me move my face. So um, as you can see, um, the mobile toggle is available. So that means when you press this button, it goes to like a mobile mode. This is how you'll view an internet browser on your phone. But by default, since Dex, Dex is a desktop alternative, they automatically have this desktop site enabled. So it also looks like you can open up however many apps you want to at one time. Uh, someone please correct me if I'm wrong about that. But um, let me just open up a few Spotify. Let's do uh, Amazon and let's do Anchor. So yeah, it looks like you can open up as many as you can. No limitations to that. If there is a limit, just feel free to correct me. But um, I think that was pretty cool. And um, also you do get the uh, option to like automatically pin things uh, left to right. I think I have seen it where you're able to do like four at the same time. I'm not sure how to do that because this is my first experience with DeX, but um, I do think it's cool just like on a desktop, you can resize your windows to go 50-50. So now let's just go through the user interface of DeX. So I showed you guys how um, I was able to open up these apps. You can open up however many as you want, um, but there are more options like right here, you get a little apps button. So when you click that, you get all of the apps on your um, phone. And then um, here, this is the recents button, so you can view all of your recent apps. 
and then this is the home button and then this is the back button very similar to what you would get on a smartphone i really love how um, dex was able to do that um, just bringing a little bit of mobile um, technology into a desktop mode and then um, again here are the apps R reminds me a lot of chrome os and then right here you can trigger a keyboard on your phone let me show you how that works so once i click that Yeah, the keyboard should come up. It's pretty fast. Okay, so this next button is for sound. And you do get a ton of sound settings. Um, you can change uh, the different inputs such as uh, Bixby, um, the overall volume, your notifications, your ringtone, all of that. And you can change the audio output. I thought that was really interesting. You can choose wherever you want the sound to come from. So right now I got it coming from my computer since I'm connected to my computer via DeX. Or I can have the audio come from my phone or any of these Bluetooth accessories. Okay, so this right here, I don't remember what that is. Oh, this is just notifications. And you can respond and everything to notifications just like you can from your phone. And so this right here, this is quick settings. This is very similar to like what you would get when you pull down from the top of your phone. Um, these all uh, change things on your phone and these settings are just strictly for your phone as well. And then um, the last thing I thought this was really cool, you get a calendar, you get a full screen calendar. Um, you can go by year, you can go by month, you can go by week, and you can go by day. And I thought that was really nice. So one thing I think I forgot to mention is that you can connect your third party peripherals such as keyboards and speakers and mouses. Um, I have my mouse connected right now and using the laptop of my keyboard since I am using the Windows app. But you can connect all of those via Bluetooth or the easier way uh, in terms of connection is to just get a USB hub um, and connect that to your phone and then add the little peripherals into the USB hub. So playing around with Dex, I did notice this pop up for a few apps. So basically, when you want to like expand the app fully, uh, these are apps from my phone. Right now, this is PowerDirector. This is a video editor. All you have to do is just uh, click this restart button, and then it should go full screen. Let's see if it works. Yep, works perfectly fine. I'm just going to create a new project. And um, yeah, this is something I could definitely see myself using with Dex, video editing. Again, Dex is something I could definitely see myself video editing with. Uh, performance seems really good. Um, it's pretty much the performance of my phone. Um, everything is coming over super smooth. Um, playback is really fast. Um, so no now let's get to lag or anything or processing or anything at all. Social media apps also look a lot better than I thought they would. Um, just like look how optimized that is to like fit my screen. You can see all of the text, all of the pictures and everything just looks pretty good i wish it was a little smaller but you could adjust that just by um, closing the window a little bit so yeah no issues with scrolling on social media with dex another thing that i'm looking forward to with dex is actually gaming so i do have uh, a subscription to xbox game pass so there are a ton of games that i can choose from and i do have extra xbox controllers laying around so i can just connect this via bluetooth and be able to game on my monitor instead of on my small phone so the last thing I'm going to talk about is actually one of the things that I think I'm going to use the most with Dex, and that is file management. Just by opening Dex, I am able to drag any file over from Windows and just drop it in Dex, and it's going to come to my phone automatically. I think that's crazy, and I think it's crazy how fast it is too. I use AirDrop a lot to transport between the MacBook and iPad, and I think this is just as fast. Just like watch this. I'm just going to pull one file and drop it. And that's 58 megabytes right there. Literally took two seconds and it's already on my phone. Like you can see it right there, it's copied. So I think that file management with Dex and Windows is gonna be an absolute game changer. It can completely change my workflow for the good. Okay guys, so overall I had a very pleasant first impressions with Dex. I definitely think this is going to be something I use a lot for multitasking in the future. Uh, hopefully I'm able to start editing on Android again with this because I do get a bigger screen um, to the left of me. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but I do use um, like three screens. I usually keep a laptop screen in the middle and then to the right I have a screen that's connected to my Xbox and then to the left I have one um, just for my laptop or in this case um, I dragged my Dex window to the 
that side. So um, I definitely think uh, it's going to make multitasking a lot easier. And the file management system is something I'm going to use a lot. I can already tell. Um, it was just super easy and super fast to do. You're literally just dragging from Windows to Dex and it get and it shows up in your phone's uh, file. So I thought that was like really interesting. That surprised me. I did not know about that before today. So that was my biggest surprise and probably my favorite feature and something I will be using uh, for sure. So um, if you have any questions about Dex, feel free to leave them in the comments. I believe I will be doing a lot more videos just like emphasizing on um, some of the things that I went over today. So yeah, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and thanks for watching.